Today I'm going to be showing you how to create a graphic that kind of looks like this. So it's going to be a simple head to head with two player photos and a bunch of stats and all of this will be dynamic. So you can pretty much go have a drop down menu and then choose the players you want. And I'm going to show you how to create something like this uh, in a few easy steps. So first of all, what you need is a graphic itself. So having it on Photoshop, which is what I have it in, then you're going to need to have a Gmail account and go ahead and open Google Sheets and also a Google Cloud API account, which I will show you how to set up soon. And lastly, you're gonna need vMix and with vMix GT Title Designer, which is pretty much already built in. So once you have all those three things, we can carry on and start. All right, to start off, we're gonna be setting up your Google Cloud API account, which is basically what you need in order to link the data through a Google Sheet. So you can give it to anyone and then remotely, this will keep updating your files. Um, and you can, it's just good. So you're going to search up Google Cloud API or Console Cloud Google on Google. Then you're going to click the first thing that comes up and you're going to be greeted with this page. If you don't have this page upon clicking on it, then you need to create an account. So once you create an account, um, you're going to sign into this. You're going to create a new project. As you can see, I have vMix, YouTube, my project. You're going to click new project and let's call this vMix graphic tutorial. You're going to click create and it's going to create a brand new project and on the top right it's going to say it's just making it so you have to wait a little bit for it to create but once it's created you click select project and now as you can see we have our vmix graphic tutorial project now you're going to click on dashboard once you're on the dashboard you're going to see a bunch of different stuff on the left you're going to click apis and services once this loads in, you will need to enable an API service. So you click enable APIs and services, and here you will search for Sheets. Press enter, and now Google Sheets API came up. You'll click on this, and here you will click enable. So now you've enabled the Google Sheets API, which then we can create a credential key to use inside of vMix. So this is something we're gonna keep. So we're gonna wait for this to enable, and boom, enabled. Now that we have this, on the top right, you can click Create Credentials. Once you click Create Credentials, you're going to click What data will you, will you be processing? Application data. Next. Service account details. Display name for the service account. Let's just call this vMix GFX. And the service account ID will be vMix GFX, automatically made. You're going to click Done. And now you have a Google Sheets API. So, next step, you're going to want to create a key so you go to credentials on the left. Now that this is enabled, you can click create credentials, API key. So now you're generating an API key. Once the API key is made, which you can see right here, you're going to copy it. You're gonna to go to a notepad and you're just gonna paste it in there for later and just hide that. So now that we have this API key, we're pretty much ready to go and ready to roll. All right, so the next step, which is probably the most important, is setting up your Photoshop file to export the graphic. So the first thing you're gonna to need to do is make all of the text be in a layer at the top. So as you can see, I have a folder here called Top Layer, and this is all the text that goes on top, including the logos here. Um, so make sure that that is there, and then everything else that's underneath is pretty much good to go afterwards. Any images that you have that are gonna be replaced, you might want to just delete them and then add them in GT afterwards. So I'm gonna get rid of the player photos here, just so we can export the bare bones of the graphic. Keep the player names, take the sponsor logos and just hide them for now, because we don't need them. And we pretty much want to hide the background. This is what we want to export. So we want to put this into vMix. So the top layer, which is text, we're gonna take all of it outside of the folder. We do not want it in a folder and we're gonna go ahead and remove this. We're gonna name the stats as well here so it's easy for us. So over here we have the KD ratio. We're gonna click on this and we'll rename this to KD right. Then we're gonna to go to the left one and rename this to KD left. And we're gonna do this with all of them. Here is the opening kills. We're gonna name this opening kills left, right, sorry. And here is gonna be opening kills left. Here we have opening deaths. OD right, opening depths on the left side, and I'm gonna call this OD left. I'll make sure to put them next to each other, so opening depths left right, opening kills left right, and then KD left right. So here we have it easier for us once we do everything. And then play a name here, we'll call this name left, and we'll call this here name right. Boom, so we have our stuff labeled. 
and then we have some of the icons which we're also going to get rid of and also the team logos we just want the text to be at the top now everything needs to be rasterized so it can't be a smart object in photoshop in order to export so this logo i need to right click and click rasterize layer so now it can be exported same with the sponsor logos i'm going to drag them out of the folder because we can't have any folders when we're exporting this out and then these boxes right here i'm also going to drag them out of the folder and I'm going to rasterize them just to make sure they're all PNGs. And I'm going to also rasterize layer style. Drag them out. Next, we're going to have this section of the graphic, which we're going to do the same thing. We're going to take all of this and drag it out. So boom, select, drag out, remove. Then this here is the background, right click, rasterize, layer style. So as you can see, we have a mess of a file here, but this is pretty much what we need. So next, what we're going to do is just going to hit save on this. So file save as we're going to save it as a psd into the graphic and we're going to call this vmix vmix gfx boom so now that we have it saved this is essentially all we need to export our file all of the text is on a layer straight at the top so as you can see if i hide all of this everything is underneath as a single layer which then we can edit in gt everything needs to be rasterized and kept this way so moving on, we're going to need to open up GT Title Designer, which looks something like this, and then import everything. So we're going to go to File, Import PSD, and then we're going to go to where we saved our graphic, boom, graphic, and VMix GFX. So we're going to click Open, and it's going to say, please wait, and it's going to load it up and turn it into the layers that we have in Photoshop. So boom, here we have our graphic, and as you can see, there's a lot of different stuff. The reason there's so much stuff here is because I want to animate each element one by one. Uh, so you can see if I hide this, it hides each specific element. We've got the logos here, the player names, and the text. So the first thing I usually do is go ahead and make sure the player text is centered, and I make sure it's in the correct position. So I'm going to go ahead and edit all of these, just to make them as wide as they can be. Vmix is sometimes pretty annoying with this, but I'm going to deal with it. Boom. The snapping functionality is surprisingly really good. Okay, so now that we have everything kind of centered, you're gonna make sure you center everything, center all the text, and make sure it's in the correct position here. Make sure your font is correct as well. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and change the player name too to make sure it's right in the center. Boom, and boom. Now, there's a few more elements to the graphic that we don't have. The most picked operator, we need the icons here, the team logos, and then the player images. So what we're going to do is we're going to import them using this image function. Whenever you use this image function, the image is then changeable afterwards. So we're going to click on this, we're going to go to VMix asset, go to player photos. Let's choose Bolo and put him, make him a bit smaller because he's super, super large and move it over to where we want it. Increase the size, boom, and have it right there. We're going to move it backwards and then take this layer all the way down. We're going to call this player left. So boom, we have player left down here. Now I'm going to go ahead and copy this, control V. I'm going to call this player right, which is going to be our second editable image. I'm going to drag it all the way to the side. And here is our second player. So here's the first, here's the second. And you can right click, browse, and then change this to another player. So Canadian, for example. Make sure it's where you want it exactly. And here we have the two players in our graphic that we wanted. Next, we're gonna do a similar thing with the player icons and the operator icons. Go to Vmix asset wherever you saved it, operator icons, and I'm gonna choose alibi as an example. I'm gonna make it a lot smaller because it's not gonna fit in here, definitely. And now that we have it a lot smaller, I'm just gonna go ahead and full screen that here. And I'm going to call this operator left. So as you can see, this is a massive mess right now, operator left. But once we create the actual graphic itself, it's going to be perfect. I'm going to put that right here. I'm going to call it operator right. And you can right click browse image and change this to whatever else you want it to be. Make sure it's all aligned. Boom. There we go. So now we have our uh, operator icons in the wrong spot. Let me move them down. Boom, here we go. And then here is the other one. And then I'll move it to the side a tiny bit. 
using arrow keys. So there we go. Here we have our most operator, most picked operators. And now we've got to get the logos in. So I'm going to click the browse image again, go to VMix asset, and I'm going to look for the logos, team logos. I'm going to choose dark zero. I'm going to take this, make it smaller. And I'm going to put it right in the middle here. Use my arrow keys to help me move them to where I want the position to be. Right in the middle here, I'm going to call this team logo left. Copy and paste team logo right. I'm going to move the team logo right all the way here. Make sure it's aligned. Put it right in the middle. Right click browse and change it to the other logo TSM. Um, so here we have the other logo. So now that we have the two logos here that we want, this is pretty much all we need for the graphics. So we have all our editable um, fields. We've got the player names, opening defs. We can pretty much change anything we want in this graphic anytime. So the next step is going to be animation. All right, so the next step is gonna be animating everything, which is fairly simple. It's kind of like PowerPoint if you've ever used it. It's a lot simpler than you think, and this is using GT Title Designer. So at the top, make sure you select animations. And here you have a bunch of different options in the drop-down menu, transition in, transition out, bunch of different pages, and a bunch of other options, which you don't need to worry about now. We're gonna focus on transition in, as the first one. So we're gonna select our background layer, which is here, layer one, copy one. It has a terrible name, but who cares? So here you can select a bunch of different things. You're kind of limited to what you can do. Um, so let me choose expand, and here you can choose where it expands from. So I'm gonna choose the circle. Then when you click play, you can see this is what the graphic does. Now I don't really like that. I want it to kind of go in from the bottom up. So I'm gonna choose expand and then click bottom. How does this look? Okay, this is cool, but it's really slow and it's just very linear. So here in the style, I can click cube easing in out. So now it's gonna look like this. The speed ramp's kind of gonna go like that. So, so slow, fast, slow, boom. Looks like this, it's really awesome now, but it's still really slow. So I'm gonna change it to 0 0.5 seconds, play it. And now that's, that's a bit better. So it's gonna come in really fast. And here is the background element coming in. I want the logo to appear afterwards. So I'm going to click on the logo. I'm going to click fade. Let's say I want it to fade in. Um, and I want it to also cube in, ease out. But I want it to appear only once this background image is done. So I can delay this animation. And I'm going to put in 0.5 here. So change the duration 0.5. So after 0.5 seconds, it's going to then run the animation. So boom, it's going to wait for it to come in and then animate that in. Now, the next step is I want it to reveal the head to head at the same time as the logo. So I'm gonna do fade, click on fade. Same thing as I've done with this. Cubing easing in out, boom. So this appears at the same time. Here we have this graphic. Next, I'm gonna want these boxes to animate out from the middle. So I'm gonna select all of these just to make it a bit quicker. I'm then going to do reveal and I'm gonna reveal it from the middle. And axes, I want it on the y-axis, so it goes kind of uh, vertically. Let's see if this is correct. Uh, nope, that is totally incorrect. Let me fix it here. X-axis, is that the one? There you go, perfect. So, you're going to go on all of these. You're going to hit the X-axis. Whatever animation you may want, I want it this way. And we're going to hit it like that. So as you can see, it animates this way. It looks pretty cool, but it's still super slow. So I'm going to delay this until all these animations are done by one second. The duration 0.5, cubing easing it out. And I'm going to do the same of these. So delay by one, 0.5, ease in, ease out. There you go. And now let's say I want them to stagger. So it shows this one, then this one, then this one, then this one. So I'm going to, this delay is one. I'm going to make this delay 1.1. I'm going to make this delay 1.2 and this will be delay 1.3. So I'm gonna click play, boom, and it sh comes in like this, it's pretty cool. And this is all done in vMix with dynamic data, which is really cool. Next, I want the text to reveal in a similar way. Um, let's do a zoom fade. So we're gonna delay this by 1.1. So let's change the duration, 0.5, cubing easing out, and boom, we have it on 1.1, I like that. Now I'm going to do the same on all of these, so I'm going to select zoom fades, 0.5, cube easing in and out, 1.2. This one is going to be 1.3, 
and 1.4. So all I'm doing here is I'm just delaying when the animation plays. And you just gotta play around with this. So there you go. This is what I created so far. Boom, the graphics come in like that. So now I want these elements to animate in as well, but what way should I do it? Let me just click on expand and see what it looks like when it animates like this. Oh, that's the operator icon I'm clicking. That's not what I wanted. Um, so let me go ahead and try and find the correct rectangle. This one. Let's do expand left. Do I like this animation? I like it. So let's do 0 0.5, cubing easing in out. Boom, animates like that. Let's delay that by 1.1 seconds, see what it looks like. Nope, it's a bit too slow. So 1.3. And let's do 1.5, see how that works. I like that, 1.5 is nice. So, actually, let's take it down to 1.3, see how that looks. Is that any good? No, 1.4. Okay, 1.4 looks nice. So I'm gonna do the same to the other one. Expand, but from the other side now, cubing ease out. 1.4 delay, duration 0.5. So now as you can see, these elements come out. Now we're gonna do it for the next element. We're gonna do expand. We're gonna do cubing easing in out, 0.5. And now we're gonna do 1.5. So it's delayed 0.1 seconds more than the other one. Make sure this one's from the left, this one comes from the right. We play it back and it looks something like this. Now we do the same for these, expand, 0.5, 1.5 this time I believe, no it's 1.6. So just all trial and error just to make it look nice, once you have an idea in your head, it, it will just look good. So cubing is in and out, 0.5, delay 1.7. Make sure this one comes in from the right, same here. So now let's click play, boom we have this element coming in, super nice, it works great, perfect. Make sure it's how you want it to be. Oh, I also forgot about these rectangles. I'm gonna make them expand as well from the bottom side. Let's do 0 0.5 and then delay this by one. Let's see how this looks. Perfect. So this will come out like that. And we want the logos to be there as well. So let's do zoom fade, delay this by 1.2, 0 0.5, cubing easing in out. There you go. So now the logos just animate in perfectly as the box goes in like that. So this is what we have as our element so far. Let's get these players. I also want them to slide out from kind of being in the middle there. So what we can do is we can do expand left as well. And as the latest by 0.5, see how this looks. Oh, that looks terrible. Let's do fly. And that also looks terrible. So what we're going to do is crop. Let's see if this works, it does not work. Okay, so I'm gonna want these players to animate in from the side. I'm gonna do animations and I'm gonna make them fly in from the right side. See how this looks. That looks all right. So 0 0.5, 1, cubing easing out. I'm gonna do the same thing. 0 0.5, 1. There you go, so now we have this animation so far. Let's get the name to fly in at the same time. So fly from the bottom, 0 0.5, 1, cubing easing in out. Okay, I think this could be a bit faster. Let's do 0 0.5. Doesn't look too good. And now let's delay this by one second. I think this will look better. Nope, let's do 0 0.75. See how this looks. See, it's all trial and error. You just gotta keep trying until it looks good. Okay, I like this a lot more. So boom, here we have a graphics coming in. Now let's do the same for these operator icons. So this image at the back comes in at 1.4 delay. So let's do a zoom fade on these. Zoom fade, delay 1.4, 0 0.5, cubing easing it out. Let's see how this looks. Okay, let's delay that to 1.5. Now let's do 1.6. Okay, that's better. Um, or maybe let's let's see how the expand looks if we do the expand the same way so this will expand from the right and that will go from the left I prefer this yeah let's do let's do it this way so let's select all of these and just do expand 0 0.5 and now let's get the times correct so this one's gonna be 1.5 make sure this one comes in from the right because it's here 
So it's going to look something like this. Let's do the same thing with this one. Let's do 1.7, I believe. Yeah, this is uh, 1.6. I'm wrong. Make sure this one comes in from the right. This will be 1.7. Make sure this one comes in from the right. So now it's going to look something like this. Boom, here we have our animations for pretty much everything at the moment. Um, but we need to get the sponsor logos in that I totally forgot about. So I'm going to go ahead and click on all three of these and I'm going to make them fly in from the bottom. And I'm going to do that after one second delay. So boom, logos fly in. Actually, I want them to fly in a bit sooner. 0 0.5 second delay. So now we have a graphic like this. Boom. With the text coming out. And you can change this to 1, 1, 1. See how this looks. Boom. So you can see it animates this way. It's pretty cool. I'm a fan, so here we have a full animated graphic. Now one element I forgot about is the little um, black down here below, so I'm going to also make that fly in right at the beginning. Let's see how this looks. Boom. So it just flies in like that, which is super nice. Let's hide that to see what that looks like. And do the same with the other bottom layer that I have here. So fly from the bottom. Boom. Fly, bottom. See, all this depends on how complicated your graphic is. Mine is like, has a lot of elements, so obviously it looks like this. But as you can see, we managed to animate a graphic like that, which is super nice. So now all you have to do is go File, Save As. I'm going to save this as GT Graphic Head to Head and press Enter. So now we're done. We have animated our graphic. All right, so the next step is going to be opening up VMix, and this is where we're going to take our graphic and integrate the data into it. So we're going to go here to Add Input. You're going to click on the little drop down, click Title, and then hit GT Graphic Head to Head. This will automatically be there, and now it's going to load in. So let's just get a little set of color bars going, create some color bars and cut that to live. And as you can see, every time we cut to it, it does this. So boom, we have our animated graphic. I'm going to go ahead and go and drag in my background loop that I created earlier with the help of Alex. Um, well, I didn't create it, he basically made it. Um, so here we have some rotating logos that he just did on Blender, and I'm going to put them behind here. So I'm going to create a new blank input. I'm going to rename this and I'm going to call this GFX underscore head to head. Boom. So now that this is made, we're going to go into the layers multi view. In the background, we're going to put the BG loop and on top, we're going to put the graphic head to head. So imagine we're cutting to this graphic and I'll fade onto it. Boom. This is what it looks like. And obviously the logos are in the incorrect position, but we'll get that sorted. So take it out cut to it and boom, the graphic looks something like this, which is totally awesome. And it's just done in vMix in like 30 minutes or so. Now, this is the difficult and annoying part, which is data linking. It's, to be fair, it's not really difficult. It's just more annoying than difficult. So you're gonna open up Google, go to Google Sheets, um, open up your graphic tracker that you created. And now we're gonna need to create a bunch of fields. So the way I normally do this is I recreate the graphic here. So I'm gonna choose most picked up, KD ratio, opening kills, opening deaths. And I'm going to go ahead and center all of this, make this larger. I'm going to put this on one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. I'm oh, sorry, one, two, three, one, two, three. And boom. So leave these empty for now. I'm going to call this here is going to be team name. So let's say Bolo. And then here I'm going to put Canadian as the other name. So these are the player names and these are the fields we want to edit and also the logos. Um, so team, let's do TSM and do dark zero. So this is where we have to uh, recreate the graphic here, which is what we've done. I'm going to move it down a bit. And this is where the most difficult bit comes in. So here we have all the data that we need to link. We're going to take this notepad that we have. We're going to copy this key that we made earlier. This is our API key. We're then going to go into vMix. We're going to right click this graphic here that we made, the GTZip, Title Editor. We're going to go to Data Source, Manage. 
we're gonna click on the plus and choose Google Sheets. You can also do this for Excel and other ways, but I'm gonna use the Google Sheets. We're gonna put in the Google API key. Now we need to get the link for the sheet, so we're gonna click share. We're gonna go ahead and do anyone with link can access. We're gonna copy link and we're gonna insert it here and click OK. So we're gonna click done and we're gonna wait. And as you can see, this showed up now. So here we have the data that we need um, and we can basically start linking things. So we close that, hide this, click OK. And now we have all these different fields we can edit and all these different images we can edit. So we're gonna start off with our text. We're gonna do the KD left. So we're gonna go here, data source. We're gonna choose a data source, Google Sheet, table, sheet one, column, and choose the column that it is. So this is column three, which is column C, and it's gonna be input for the opening kills, sorry, KD left, which is this source right here. So this is gonna be column three, row 14. So we're gonna do column three and then row 14. As you can see, it's one, we click OK. Now opening kills right, this is gonna be column, let's go to 14, opening kills, right side, so it's gonna be column five, boom. So now this is two, opening kills left, column three, boom, 15. Opening deaths is gonna be column three again, you just kind of remember this as you go. I'm essentially just linking the data to say that this input will be in this position. Opening defs left, which is this one, it's gonna be column three, and it's gonna be the bottom stat we have, which is row 16. So now we have all of these linked. Now we're gonna do name left. So we're gonna go column three, and we'll go to the name, and boot and bolo. As you can see, it's changed. Name right, we're gonna do the same thing, column five, row 11 row 12 sorry Canadian so now we have this changed so now when we go to our Google sheet and we change the KD ratio to 1.5 and here to 1.2 and then opening kills to 5 to 8 opening deaths 15 12 and as you can see the data updates it's not instant it takes a little while because it's processes the API and this is free so it's great you're not paying for anything and as you can see, it changes pretty quickly. So now you have a Google Sheet that you can send to anybody and change. So if I call this potato and I call this test, this is gonna be called potato and test now. There you go. Now, how do you make it so these will change when you change these names? This is where Google Sheet comes in and where the images come in. So if you wanna change the operators, what you have to do is gonna go here, type in Bolo again, Canadian, and we're gonna go ahead, right click, and you can go into, so where we're gonna go is we're gonna go into data and we need to create data validation, which is here. And you can click data validation rules. In the criteria, you can have a drop down, and here you're gonna have a bunch of options. And my light's not It is what it is. Um, so option one, let's do Bolo. Let's do Canadian. Let's add another item, achieved, and click done. So now you have a drop down menu, Canadian, achieved. Um, here you go. So you can basically have all of this there. Uh, Bolo, Canadian, achieved. We're going to copy this. And I'm going to put it there. So now we have a drop down menu for the player we want to select. So here you go. You can see achieved is there. If I change this to Canadian, Canadian is there. We're gonna do the same thing with the teams. We're gonna right click, well, not right click, we're gonna go data, data validation. We're gonna set this up again. So data validation, add a rule. We're gonna do TSM dark zero. We're gonna copy this exact thing right there, done. So now you have a drop down of TSM or dark zero. Now, these will be defining what images there are. And we're also gonna do the same for the operators here. So we're going to go to data validation. We're going to add a new rule and we're going to call this um, alibi. And we're also going to have a zoomy. Is it a zoomy? I'm being an idiot. Operator icons. Uh, a Rooney. Oh, what am I doing? What am I doing? So we have alibi and a Rooney. Boom. Click done. 
So now I have a drop down menu, we can choose which operator we want. And you can add as much of these as you like. So in here I have Ace, Alibi, Amaru, Aruni, Ash. So let me actually go to here and change it. Let me add Ash. Let me add, um, who else do I have? An Ace, boom, done. So now this drop down menu has all of these different options to choose from. So these will be editing our images. This will be editing our text that we have. So I'm gonna mark this green just to highlight what we can change. And also these here for the images. Change, boom, all of these to green. So this is what we're gonna basically select to change what's on the graphic. So now in order to change an image with what you have, you need to create a function. Um, so we're gonna close this out and you need to go somewhere else inside of the Google Sheet. I normally go below or create a new new little data here and I'm gonna call this um, linking. So here you're gonna create something called uh, folder path. Folder path, and just basically create three of these because I have three different elements. I've got the team, I've got the player photo and the operator icon. So I'm gonna go to linking, I'm gonna do folder path team, I'm gonna do folder path player and folder path operator. So now that I have all of these three, I'm just gonna center it and I'm gonna create um, basically a field here that you can insert into. I'm gonna make it green to show you can edit this. It's just easier for visibility. And what you need to do here is take the folder where you have your operator icons or portraits. I'm gonna click operator icons and you need to copy this. So I'm gonna to go to player path operator and copy this in. Take this little backslash and put this at the end. So now you have something like that. You're gonna do the same thing with your player photos. Copy that in here, player photos, get the little backslash and put that at the end. Then we're gonna do team logos, which is here. Same thing. We're gonna put that in there. Take the little backslash at the end and put that there. So now we have these paths. So the next thing we need to do is create fields that will link this data to the graphic. So here in title editor, when you go to images, you can link the data to something. But the way this works is it links it to a specific folder on your desktop. So what I'm gonna create is I'm gonna say player left or player right is gonna be linked to a field here. And whatever I select, that will then basically say where the logo is or where the file is. So I'm gonna create, take these fields. I'm gonna do player left, player right, team left, team right, and then I'm gonna do operator left, operator right. Now, I'm gonna create a concatenate function. So equals concatenate. So this will basically pull a bunch of strings together. So player left, I'm gonna control click this, which will take this field. I'm gonna do a comma. Then I'm gonna to go to sheet one, and I'm gonna click on, what am I linking? Player left. I'm gonna click on this, and then a comma, and then quotation marks dot png and close that. So now, as you can see, player left is the folder where it's in, the name of the player dot png. And if I change this to Canadian, it's gonna be Canadian dot png. So now, as you can see, if I go to player left and I go data source, go to the sheet, click the linking table, go to the column that I require, let's do player left. This, as you can see, it's Canadian because this is pointing to where I have the photo. So canadian.png. I'm gonna change this to achieved. So now this is achieved.png. And as long as you have a file that has the same name, it will update that photo. So now I have achieved in there, which is super good. Now I just have to recreate this for everything, which is the long process. So I'm gonna copy this. Um, this is gonna be C4, which is not the one I want. This is the player icon, operator icon left, I believe. There we go. And C5, am I doing this wrong? Not C5, should be C3 or C4. Yeah, that's the one. And then we do, go back on the sheet. It should be E, so do E13. Oh, sorry, the other way around, E13. should be the same, but E12, so E12. So now here I have the team on the left, right. We'll do the same thing here. 
I'm gonna, this will be pointing to C1 or C2. There you go, team path. Make that a bit longer. Um, team logos, that's not C. Is it B? No. It should be C11. Okay, that's the one. So, C11 and then E11. So there you go. So here we have, let's put dark zero here, Canadian, let's do Bolo here and then choose Ash and choose Ace. So now that we have the linking made, I'll explain this one more time. We have the paths where you save the images. We have a drop down menu of who you want to choose. And then here in linking, you create a function called concatenate. Here, you select the folder path, which is here. Then you select the drop down menu of who you're choosing on this sheet. And then you add a .png at the end. So this will look like this. Make sure you copy this function exactly. Now that you have this done, you're basically ready to integrate the graphic. So go back to title editor to images. We've done our player left already here, so we can do player right. I'm gonna go to columns, table two, find the correct column that we need, and let's go to player right. So boom, link this, bolo.png. Now something's not right, what's not working here? Viewing sunset play photo, bolo.png. So let's go in here, play photos. Okay, so see, I have a spelling mistake. But be a little, so it's not working. So I'm gonna change this bolo.png and I'm gonna relink the data again. Just click okay and there you go, it's fixed. I'm gonna re reload and it's working now. So I made a spelling mistake, I just had to fix it. So images, operator left, we'll go to data source sheet two, go to what we need, which is operator left. Operator left, go to the correct column. So now this links to Ash. We're gonna do the same thing here. Column three, operator right, ace.png, team logo left. We're gonna to go to column two, where is the logo? Team left, dark zero, and then team logo right. column three. So now the graphic is fully integrated as you can see. I'm gonna to go to sheet one, change the team to dark zero, Canadian, and changes to Aruni. As you can see, all these graphics changed. The background didn't change because that's just a little loop video that I made myself, so you can edit that later on. Um, but as you can see, this is fully customizable and you can give this to anybody around the world and they can just choose. So you have a stats operator, make him fill out the stats. You have a fully dynamic graphic that works perfectly. So let me go ahead and transition on. Boom, it animates perfectly from the exact data that you wanted. And that is essentially it. That is how to create a graphic, animate it, and link it to data. It's great.